We drew up the blueprints for the Big Bang. When unpleasant women like you start to warm up, it means something. What makes you think I'll warm up? You're mysterious, too. Can I walk you home? I drove. Can you give me a ride? <laughs> <laughs> Taken on the likeness of a homeless man. I'm an intellectual. I read the New Yorker. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I was reading that literature. But I read here, Oh, really? What? Misconnections. Man for woman, woman for man. <laughs> woman for animal. That sort of thing. A grown man. I told you no one plays music, right? Yeah, that's sweet. Did you rock out like Steely Dan? <laughs> Had to take an hour train right just to get to the Hard Rock Cafe. He's obsessed with international hard rock memorabilia. What I do is more of a, a performance art piece on self-deprecation. <laughs> <laughs> so you should see your place sometime. How does it feel to change a man's life? Dad. So, who is it today? Deviled slacker or the promising intellectual? Did he charm me with talk of centaurs over fish eggs and great A booze? How about we get some ukuleles and play them in the streets? I don't know how to play ukulele. That's the point. Well, we're supposed to change each other. You're supposed to make me want to do something with my life, and I'm supposed to make you enjoy living. I want to be with someone who's already doing something. And you'd be going against the conditioning of socialization. But is that always a bad thing? You look good in shitty clothing. <laughs> <laughs> what if I just started barking right here and now, ripped off my clothes and howled at the moon? Would that be so unnatural? No. But it would be disturbing and oddly erotic. <laughs> <laughs> we drank our sorrows away and cursed the fickle world of women. I went home, threw up, and woke up the next day feeling lousier. Well, thanks to a special girl, as my dad would say. Much too now, just one bird.